I've been out for a bit of a walk. Lovely day again. This is the 27th of December, I guess. Two sunny days in a row. The first two sunny days in many weeks. This little road leaves the main road of Fundy Drive on what we call the back of the island and goes down to a beach called Schooner Cove. And the water that you see either side of the road here, well, I suppose the road itself has got it dammed up to a certain extent, but it uh, was a large beaver dam to, to start with, and I'm not seeing any immediate beaver activity, fresh cut trees or anything, but I can still see the, the lodge over to the left. I'll point it out when I get closer to it. The road used to flood completely. The beavers <laughs> flooded it out. You couldn't get down here for several years, but uh, somebody built the road up, and now it doesn't seem to, to flood anymore anyway. Still not seeing any freshly cut trees, but uh, I guess I actually see two different lodges now. I don't know whether they're both occupied or if neither one of them is occupied. Directly across from me here, you see that sort of pile of trees at the edge of the water. That's one small lodge. Coming up here, you can probably see, make out two sort of piles of brush. One on the left hand side, that's another beaver lodge. The right hand one, I'm really not sure if that's beavers just piled stuff up or if somebody clearing trees here did that. And this is Schooner Cove. This camera GoPro doesn't have a zoom feature, so I, I can't zoom in on things for you. Well, I, I can do it by uh, cropping the film later, I guess, and, and get closer to some objects. But Off on the horizon to the left is three or four small islands. Those are called the wolves. And the large white ship, if you can make it out at all, it's just going in front of the first island on the right. That's the car ferry that goes from the New Brunswick mainland over to Grand Manan Island. Well, I've been sitting here on a rock at least a half hour, just enjoying the the sunshine listening to the waves on the beach. The tide is on its way in. You can see that rock right directly in front of me that the waves are breaking over now. A half hour ago when I came here it was high and dry. I could have gone down and sat on it. So I don't know, it's probably still a couple of hours yet or more before high tide. A beautiful day anyway. Well, the difference a few days can make. This is New Year's Eve day. I'm back at the same beach. And I'm sure it's not showing up very well. But off there on the water is what we call vapor. Uh, the water is much warmer right now than the air temperature. It went down to minus 13 last night. and I probably should have been out here a bit earlier. It's uh, 11 a.m. now and it's about minus 11. But there is a mist off there on the water. 
Uh, the weather office now likes to call it sea smoke. Well, it is not smoke, folks. It is cold, um, and it will uh, condense and freeze on the side of a boat or anything going through it. It's, it's just the uh, warmer water evaporating up into the air and, the, and freezing because the air is so cold. Well, this is that same pond that the road sort of dissects, and now it is frozen solid. I don't think solid enough that I would want to walk out on it yet, but another couple of days and this will make a great pond for skating on. It's just as smooth as can be, although we are supposed to get a bit of snow tomorrow, so somebody will have to bring a snow shovel with them and scrape off the snow, I guess. Well, I've driven down to the lighthouse at the northern end of the island. Perhaps the vapor shows a little bit better on the water there. I should say that this is not a high vapor like we would get if the temperature was much colder. About as cold as it gets around here is, oh, 20, 22, minus 20 or minus 22 degrees around in there. And when it gets that cold, um, the vapor is so high on the water you can't see the neighboring islands. Well, who said we don't have a sense of humor? I've seen these over in Maine, but this is the first time I've seen one here. Evidently the epidemic of slow children is spreading. <laughs> 